Hi and welcome. In this particular video, I'm going to be changing the oil in the gearbox and the final drive on our Moto Guzzi 750 Breva. Now it's a good idea to take the bike out for a bit of a run first, just to warm those oils up so that they drain out a bit easier because they're actually quite heavy oils. Okay, let's get started. The gearbox drain is a bit difficult to get to if you've still got the exhaust system on, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Now the drain plug on the bevel drive is a bit easier to get to. Well now it's time to talk about the oils required. Um, the bevel drive takes 170 cc's of 85 weight 140. I've got this uh, Castrol fully synthetic which I'll be using in the bevel drive. Um, and for the uh, gearbox that takes uh, one litre of 80 weight 90 and I've got this uh, Motul here. This is actually a mineral oil which has been fortified with a Molly additive. Uh, you can also use a fully synthetic in the gearbox and I have done in the past. Now the uh, next stage of the operation is to refit the two drain plugs. First we just uh, wipe up around the drain plugs so that um, we get any debris off. Then we refit it, fitting a new crush washer first. And then we tighten. If you've got a torque wrench, you can certainly look up the factory spec. I'll put that up on screen anyway. Now there's no need to over tighten these either. First we'll just wipe down where the sump plug goes in just to make sure there's no debris in the way. Now we fit the uh, sump plug, which is a bit tricky in this location with that crossover in, in the way. With a, now this sump plug is fitted with a new crush washer. Again, there's no need to over tighten that. Next, we remove the filler plug, which also doubles as our level plug. And since this takes one litre, we can fill it straight from the container. Now, you want to take this slowly because it does take time for the oil to settle in the gearbox. So it's very easy to overfill at this point and have it come out the uh, the filler slash level plug. You can check the oil level by using a torch to shine it in through the gearbox filler plug. You should actually see the oil level just almost at this level here or just slightly above and it'll be seeping out, which is why I've got this rag here. So we've got enough oil in there, it's time to refit the plug. Just clean up around the level plug and then we can reinsert. Just check the O-ring on here. Uh, if, if it uh, looks badly damaged, it will need replacing. Remove the level plug. Again, both these uh, plugs have O-rings on, so check them and if they need to be replaced, replace them. I'm just going to place a rag down here for spillage. Now because this is at an on angle, I've just made up this funnel with a bit of um, rubber hose on it and 
I'm going to pour the 170 cc's of gearbox, sorry, bevel drive oil, which is the heavier weight oil, in here. And it'll take a bit of time to flow through that hose. Now we can refit our uh, filler plug. Again, there's no need to over tighten that. Well, that's the gearbox and final drive oil changed. I hope you got something out of that and I'll catch you next time.